Once again, I'd like to welcome you all to the 2014 CIAA Tournament Post Game Wrap Up. Joining us, we have the Panthers of Virginia University, led by head coach Luke Von Jabber. Coach Jabber, if you would, uh, start us off by introducing your two student athletes and then open up with a comment about tonight's game. And I will open the floor for questions or comments. Um, I have with me uh, senior forward Omar Briggs and a freshman guard. Um, Ray Anderson. Um, I thought the guys came out. They played. They played extremely hard, and the effort was tremendous. Um, you know, I think we lost our way in some places, but overall, the effort, you know, is, is something they can be proud of, and it's something they can move forward with. Um, you know, looking at the stat sheet, uh, we left, you know, 20 points on the board. Uh, from free throw shooting, which has kind of been a, um, a demon this season. This season. <coughs> uh, and that's not including the one-on-one -one opportunities um, that we miss. So it's a lot of things that we could have did uh, to eliminate uh, Johnson C. Smith's effort, which was also um, at an all-time high as well. Coach, this uh, game seemed like a roller coaster. Bro. Just shifts and momentum changing over and over. What were some of the pivotal points, uh, I guess if you can recall, where you felt like you needed to make some adjustments? Well, somehow, um, you know, the shooters kept finding a way to get open. And, um, you, know, you know, they understand who they are. They just, you know, the discipline to maintain over the course of the game is, you know, it's strenuous. And you have to really, really be focused. And sometimes, you know, in foul troubles, you have subs come in. Uh, the, mo the momentum changes. Um, so, you know, if a guy gets beat, he might not think about that shooter that he just left in the corner. And, um, you know, by the time he realizes it, it's too late. Um, I thought uh, Smith did a great job of, you know, making our guys bite in so they can get into the, to their spots. Um, but, again, you know, our effort was great. The guys continue to fight, even right there down in uh, in, the, in the regulation. We had a kid come down and hit a, uh, a huge three, uh, you know, to give us the opportunity to tie the game up. And it was unfortunate uh, that we didn't have Ray Anderson uh, going into that last overtime period. Um, who um, actually you broke your finger? Dislocated. Dislocated his finger, um, and also fouled out on the same play, which. I thought could have, you know, went the other way as well. Questions? Yes, sir. Uh, you had a 13-point lead in the second half. Uh, you built some momentum after getting out of halftime with a smaller lead. Mm -hmm. Was it more of what Smith was doing right or just a combination of execution on both ends or lack of execution, that kind of thing? Um, was, I think it, to me, was a combination of um, just really not cherishing the ball at times and the other thing is having empty possessions when you go to the free throw line and don't capitalize uh, you know you come down you miss two free throws and they come back and they hit a three um, and you know the other thing that we've been trying to improve on and for spurts we look well doing it is defending and transition um, i think the uh, big the three by wilkerson at the top of the key uh, was tremendous for smith because i think he had been held in check most of the night but you know, that really gave his team a boost. And he shot it right where I told him he would shoot it, right there at the top of the key. So, you know, that's the only disheartening part is when you see guys getting into their spots um, when we're really trying to keep them out of there. Coach, down the stretch, when y'all were going basket to basket, what happened uh, with Omar? Like, like when you went into him, like he was just automatic, like you just – like he just totally went away from him and guards stopped putting it up and you know he was he was having a great night on you know, the inside he was having a tremendous night at the free throw line yes sir so it seemed like he was not in resistance down the street. Well, I just think uh, Smith did a better job uh, trying to keep the ball out of his hands and uh, kind of push him off his spots. Um, I don't think my guards were patient enough uh, on offense to kind of keep feeding him and keep feeding him. You know, 25 and 19. Uh, is a great stat line in any league, and, and he was five for six from the free throw line. Um, so, you know, that's something that we have to look at um, each individual and, and kind of get better at that 
and really play unselfishly, and, and that would be the true true mark of a championship team. Uh, Ray, you a freshman? Mm-hmm. Uh, what was your say that you would be able to take them tonight? Bring back to the team next year. Uh, leadership. I think that's going to be your responsibility. Yeah. Oh, you had a key block there in the final seconds of the uh, of regulation. Talk yeah. a little bit about that play, uh, because Will Lane, uh Smith had an open drive, and yeah. all of a sudden you flashed over and got a key block out. I mean, basically, I knew I had to stop him. So, I mean, he got past the first line of defense. I was last. I kind of figured he was going to float it like he'd been doing the whole game. So I kind of just timed the ball and just went up and got it. Did you feel that that was a, a potential momentum changer there? Yeah. The game that yeah, I think so. I mean, I, my whole team can't, got off the bench, and I mean, we was ready to go. Just. Um, what are your thoughts in that moment and what are your thoughts now to making the adjustments to that? Well, you know, each team is going to make a run. Um, I think at one point we had held them scoreless um, early in the uh, beginning of the second half and were able to build a good lead. Like I said, you know, they're home, they're in Charlotte. And, um, you know, once they hit a couple shots, kind of got their crowd behind them and their energy. And, uh, you know, we could have – broke right then, but we continue to fight back and, 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 you know, I'm really proud of my team and their effort. And, you know, the game is all about spurts, you know, but, you know, you have to sustain and you have to move forward. You have to know you can't put your head down because, you know, 22 to 2, you know, that can really put a team away. And um, we stayed right in there and fought with them. Other questions or comments? <sighs> um, what were the differences you saw tonight? Well, we won the last time. <laughs> That's a big difference. But uh, in all honesty, uh, when we beat John C. Smith and Bray Boy, we made free throws. You know, it was the same type of effort on both ends. Um, and, you know, uh, Coach Joyner is a great coach. And um, him and Coach Robbins have a lot of similarities in, um, in some of the things that they ran. Um, so, you know, it's it's like that playing against yourself in a mirror almost. But, you know, we we made free throws and we took care of the ball. And they fought back that game as well. But we went to the free throw line and we capitalized. And I can't stress how much, you know, free throws are important. Um, early in the year, we played at Norfolk State. And um, the guy, every time they went to the free throw line, he said, free throws win ball games every single time and it's absolutely the truth one last question uh coach based on the change of the format uh any adjustments that you had to do for the team to come out and play first night out so the mm -hmm. not really um we played john c smith twice this year so we pretty much knew what they were going to do um they said, I thought we executed well. We just didn't finish at the free throw line and cherish the ball enough in the key moments. If there are no other questions or comments at this time, we'll bring this press conference to a close. I want to say hats off to the Panthers. A lot of individual success, defensive player of the year, rookie of the year. Coach Jabber, I wish you uh, much success in the future. Thank you so much.